Hey queens, hey queens, hey queens. Welcome back to another episode of Growing with Selena. Today we are going to be discussing our spider plant. Um, I think this is a bonnie one because over there in the corner I have another spider plant. Um, I done propagated that one and now it's growing um, smaller plant babies. I will show you towards the end of this video. This video is not going to be long, but what we are going to do today, I'm going to just take a few cuttings of um, the plant babies that are here. I'm going to just show you the care that I've been giving this spider plant, right? And how it's been growing. And of course, I'm going to show you the bad as well because look at this part the drying part and the overwatering part. Yeah, that part as well. So we have the good and the bad, but as long as you're giving it the right conditions, which I'm going to break down for you, this spider plant will be a very happy mama and produce a lot of plant babies so number one the important part of this is making sure that you have it in a pot that it can breathe okay because when you go to water it and and stuff like that and I'll give it the humidity that it likes you want to make sure that it's a um it's not going to be sitting in wet soil to have wet feet so this is where the lighting coming at as well because if you're giving it a makeable amount of light such as 8 to 12 hours a day i like to start early in the morning because i wake up very early so i like to give it some nice um grow lights um i have a grow light in my ceiling I have grow lights over here, I have grow lights over there, and then I have this big grow light shining right on my plant, right? Um, so with that saying, the more light you give it, the more it's going to need water. That exchange is going to need to happen. So as I probably water this baby, according to my environment, because I do have a humid environment, even without using my humidor, um, I have a humid environment anyway. So I think I watered this plant maybe once a week or every other week because we're in the winter time. Um, but like I said, um, my house is very humid anyway. So this plant thrives anyway. But sometimes if I go a full two weeks, then that's where it starts to dry out too much and all sorts of things like this happening. So let me get my scissors. I already have them alcoholed. So you're gonna get dryness parts like this or a baby growing on here and then having a very dry branch part, right? So I'm just going to cut because I wanna show you queens how Look at how it yellowed as well. That could be from too much watering. Trying That was me trying to catch up. I came out the hospital and then I was trying to catch up um, with my plants. <laughs> Making sure that they thrive. So what I'm going to do with this, which we're going to show you right now, how I propagate it. Just take it off. And you see the, these little parts right there? That is what I'm going to stick inside of water, right? So I'm just gonna put that in this cup like that. And then I'm just gonna fill them up, the little ones in there, and give it water. So a perfect example for a longer one that I have in water is this one. And I did a propagation video um, recently I uploaded it the other day so if you haven't checked that out go over to the link and check that out um, I will have the link inside of the description where you can go and watch that video but I cut the plant like I just showed you and stuck it in a appropriate size container 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 <laughs> 
and just allow this to sit for some time. But, and as you can see, me just doing that, look at this. Do you see, I don't know if you can see that it's growing the little roots right here. And there's another one over here. So water propagation, growing more plant babies is exactly what I do. And Press, can you get your plant? And I'm going to show you, and charges. I'm going to show you the two plant babies I made after those, um, I did propagations from them. So I'm just gonna cut. And then when you cut from the plant, you see those two little things, those two pieces? You can cut those off because it's not part of the plant. It's just, it just came from this long branch. And then I'm just gonna put it inside of the water and then so forth and so forth. But doing that after leaving it in water for so long, you it against roots, you can sit there and make plant babies. That is why I love the spider plant. Thank you. And I love propagating them. And this is why it's very important to give it the correct conditions. So back to the conditions as we are cutting and putting them inside of this container to give it some water, right? Make sure that we're giving it the um, my, nice amount of um, light because we know to make sure that, I'm gonna just take these dead parts off of here we know that it wants to be watered, right? When the soil is dry, we don't wanna water it when it's still wet. You wanna look at the top of the soil and it should be a lighter color on the dirt, right? But I still like to put my hands, and I just watered this, so I like to still put my hands inside of the dirt. And you can see I have dirt on my hands, right? Let me get my rag. <laughs> Can't find them. Okay, and then we're just gonna keep cutting. So we wanna make sure it has water and it's nice and moist. I think this right here, even though I just watered it yesterday, um, it should I should be able to water this within, I would say five more days. So. Technically, it depends on your house because I have had my heat up higher than lately. It has been windy around here and because it's in a terracotta pot and it's in a porous pot, it is very um, aerable. So the heat around it will make the water evaporate, evap evaporate easier. <laughs> So I'm going to leave that one on there because these look like really young ones. I'm going to take this one off because this one is going yellow. So I just took that one off. It's going yellow. I'm just going to, again, if you see, I'm going to cut right here. I'm gonna cut right here. And this garbage. These spider plants, they love humidity. So I'm gonna show you where my plant resides oops do you see right there where the humidifier is at right here in this corner is where my plant resides so it is right here for now but i have it right there so the humidifier blows right on the um, the um, spider plant. And then as you can see, there is another spider plant right there, but I have been propagating all my other 
babies from that one so it has to create new babies but um i'm not gonna show if you can see that but it is starting to create two new babies on the side over here and i just turned it around this rising when we woke up and just to give it some more um lighting on the other side of the plant all right so again, I, the plant, this spider plant, really loves humidity. So I give it humidity a lot because it's right next to my ficus plant. Because if that's another video, our ficus loves humidity, right? So now I'm just going to, I can split this if I want to. Um... But I'm just going to leave that on there and just put that inside of the water. Please don't mind my nails. I have to get get another manicure. So, and then we're just going to put some water in here. We can add more to this. But this is how you make the little plant babies. We're going to now. And... I hear a lot of people change their water. That was another thing I failed to mention inside of my propagation video, making more plant babies. A lot, some people I hear, they change their water often, but I don't change my water. I let my water, once I put it in there, that's it. Once I see that there's roots growing from plants and stuff like that, that's it. I let that water just sit and i just put these in here and they're already starting to grow roots and these are from other propagations but the spider plant this is today is february 18th and i will show you the one that i did uh what this week in the beginning of the week and i'm going to show you the update of the ones that we did today so I'm going to get cutting some more so I can make a nice full um, plant baby when the roots come in for our update. So queens, that is basically it. Give it the good amount of water. Don't water it too, too much. Give it what I said to at least 8 to 12 hours of light, right? If, and realize, put it in a window that has good lighting during the daytime you will be able to achieve what you like i have it over here because i have a big light um window and the light shines early in the a.m so it comes through all the whole area and gives all the plants um a nice few hours of light i think probably like six four or five hours of light maybe and then the light starts to die down a little bit but it's still getting some form of light not that bright light anymore um and then after that i'm always have my this may be a thing for some people because of costly effect i do run my grow lights a lot so that I do 24 seven. I can't say a lot. I do my grow lights 24 seven technically. Um, Cause I wake up at 3 AM. I'm running my lights in the window before the sun comes out and then I'm turning them off. And then after that, as of now um, in the evening, I'm giving them a light and I normally turn those lights off around like maybe 10, 11 in the evening after um, I'm back on the cycle again. So I only give it a little bit of darkness for it to achieve what it needs to achieve for it to go get some rest. But besides that, good amount of light, a good enough water, allowing it to dry through, not keeping the soil wet. Okay, you have to know your schedule of your plant depending on if you have this in a terracotta or a plastic, because plastic is going to hold moisture more. Um, and again, the humidity, light, water. Make sure that you have it in a good spot, because if you are giving it a lot of humidity, you still need that airflow. 
okay so that is it about the spider plant and showed you how to propagate some we will show you the update on more um, later on once they start to get some roots okay so queens make sure everything you do you do it the right way and thank you for watching growing with selena